Kamado Kikuyu member of parliament Kimeni Ichamwa has asked Azimio leaders organizing Monday demonstrations in Nairobi and March to State House to involve their children. He said the Azimio boss should not involve hard-working Kenyans in their planned demos slated for Monday next week. He said that Kenyans are busy looking for the hustlers funds for their businesses and won't be available for demonstrations. People have the right to picket, but it must be peaceful picketing. And picketing doesn't involve destruction of property or in any way interfering with the rights of other people. Therefore, we know, and we have information on the plans Mr. Odinga and his sponsors have of ferrying goons to destroy people's businesses, apparently to punish those who never voted for him that he had been promised to vote for him. Two, we know from history, Mr. Odinga has never organized anything peaceful. He has never had any peaceful mass action. And therefore we know his intent is to cause chaos, violence and bloodshed. But we want to tell Mr. Odinga, Mr. Odinga, you are a subject of the constitution and the laws of the country. You will follow the constitution and the laws of the country just like I do, like the president does, and like all other Kenyans do. And the impunity that he has enjoyed over the years that have made him believe that he's above the law or is above the constitution, that he can do as he wishes, must now come to an end. I think his sponsors might be misleading him. But we just want to tell him, and he has been advised by many people, act and behave as an elder statesman. Respect the constitution the way you want to be respected. Respect the laws of our country and abide by the laws. You have the right to picket. You have the right to hold peaceful demonstrations. But from what we saw yesterday in Kisumu, there is nothing peaceful in the demonstrations, Mr. Odinga, his sponsors, and his goons, army of goons, are planning for Monday. But again, government cannot and must not be intimidated, and the people of Kenya must not be intimidated. We have said we must defend and protect people's businesses. We must defend and protect people's lives. Mr. Odinga knows the provisions of the law as to declaring public holidays. He has no powers, he has no standing in society and under the law to declare any public holiday. Maybe he can declare a public holiday in his house and decide to stay home with his wife and family, but not for the country. EDF ujue ni kiwango uh, ni asilimia ya bajeti. Kwa hivyo bajeti kiongezeka bajeti ya inji hata CDF itaongezeka sababu ni asilimia mbili nukta tano ya bajeti ya inji. Kwa hivyo bajeti kipanda kidogo asilimia mbili na nusu ya hiyo pia itapanda. Lakini kwa jumla inaongezeka e, e, kidogo na tunatarajia pia sababu kuna mipango mingi ukiangalia ilo reporto ya BPS jana. Uh, kamati ya budget imeweza kupendekeza ya kuwa shughuli nyingi ambazo ufanywa na serikali kuu ambazo zingefanyika vyema zaidi kama ujenzi wa madarasa mashuleni ujenzi wa maofisi za serikali kama za administration maofisi za chief za madio madisi ujenzi wa mapolisi uweze kujumuishwa hizi hizi fedha ziwekwe pamoja ziweze kutekelezwa chini ya mpango wa CDF ambao kwa kawaida huwa unatekelezwa kwa haraka na kwa upesi na kwa bei ya chini zaidi kama kuliko venye ina, inaweza kutekelezwa kupitia wizara za serikali Dinga and his goons must realize that they are not above the law, they are not above the constitution. We have also seen the things they have been saying in their rallies. You saw last week somebody in a rally in Kilifi, or, or rather early this week, somebody telling him Baba Utulete Bunduki. I do not know what peaceful demonstrations you ask for arms. I do not know what peaceful demonstrations and picketing you arm your people to attend. I do not know what peaceful demonstrations and picketing you mobilize goons as he was planning yesterday in Karen. And I want to challenge Mr. Odinga if what I am saying is not true because we even have a recording of that meeting. 
the organization of goons, how they plan to disrupt transport, how they plan to disrupt and destroy people's businesses. But tell Mr. Odinga, you are not above the law, you are not above the constitution. The impunity you have enjoyed over the last 50 plus years of destroying people's properties, of getting access to power through people's blood, we shall not allow you and it shall never continue in this country. Not, not again.